Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48's World, where we get down and dirty with the news. Right now, we're going to be at the castle again because it started. Yes, we've got total chaos and uproars. We've gotten information from Reality T, Atlanta Black Star, Rolling Out magazines, and the Queen Mama D is not happy. Yes, the castle is in turmoil right now. And she said her loyal subjects, the ones on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, their heads must roll. We even talked to Queen Elizabeth and she was like, can you see her expression? Yes, because Portia Williams, Nene Leakes, and Candy Burrs have definitely dethroned themselves. All three have simultaneously made us look bad. Made the royals look bad. And they cannot take it anymore. Queen Elizabeth said, nope, we can't have that. That's not protocol. They must be silenced. Okay? They got to be silenced. And we said, well, wait a minute, Queen. Why don't we just talk to one more other queen? So we hit up Queen Latifah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She said, uh-uh. They're not acting like queen material. And Judge Judy jumped in and said, mm, it's a shame to have all that beauty. But yet, be so dumb. Okay. I was agreeing with her. So I'm their correspondent from the castle. We have to get sentences laid down. We are going to all sum them up. But I think Portia Williams is the most informed individual I have ever crossed this walks of life with. Okay. But we're going to get on. Well, we're going to have to take Nene's queen title. And just throw it in the trash for right now. She's just like one of the peasants. She's sitting up there. Can't control her Instagram media, social media feed. She's getting a lot of backlash about her and her new wigs that she's promoting. And I told y'all she was doing that. She wasn't doing it just because uh, she she was just feeling, uh, what do you call it, sociable. Or she had got her hands on some wigs. No. They are definitely paying Nene to advertise their goods. Whether she's getting free weeks of her choosing, well, they pay her some sponsorship money, okay? But that's color main weeks, okay? That's what they're doing. But Nene didn't expect the backlash. I don't know why, because I've said it on many of my videos. It's like you're turning into a white woman, Nene. Oh, white woman, you can't just let that go go. I don't know who told you that. It's so flattering on you. But you were to me a boss lady with all that auburn type hair, like golden brown type hair. You was hitting it. Even the burden that looked good on you. But you just still fascinated like your hair just grew out blonde hair one night. And in the morning, you had long tresses to comb out. I'm like, everybody getting tired of that, girl. Everybody getting tired of that. And you ain't even true to the uh, T up what your looks are looking like these days. Because you have to shut down your or limit your Instagram account. So people won't uh, leave comments on there. I mean, I could see if you let them stay. You just get a, a boatload of hate mail coming your way in your Instagram uh, comment section, but just let it stay up there for a couple of days and then just delete it. You know what I'm saying? You gave them their share. You gave them their opportunity to shine in your comments uh, section. Then it's just, you know, you need to make room for other haters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or you could have just not deleted them at all. I mean, you self-appointed yourself as the HBIC. And when you are that high of a title of ranking queen, you don't get down there and throw, uh, Tomatoes in the Street, as Mariah had said on the Married to Medicines group sitcom show over there, reality show. But you did. You came off your throne. You was out there in the street throwing tomatoes and, and, and crying and whining. And that's not queen material. So, yes, we must take your title, seize it, and silence you. Okay? We don't want you on social media for at least a month. Okay? Or at least till the show come back on. Because you're, you're not holding your title well. So we had to take that from you because you sat there and cow towered, uh, bow down to uh, haters. Okay? 
We thrive on hate, Chip. We thrive, that motivates us to keep grinding. But evidently, we must send you back to school. We must send you back to school, reprogram you, and get the old nini that didn't care, didn't give one flip his ass, okay? But it seems like you have turned a new leaf to a person we don't know because anybody came to you trying to tell you what you look like, how they want you to do it, this, that, and third, you looked at them like they were crazy because you had Trump check cashing privileges, okay? So what happened to that? What happened to that? Then we got Candy Burris over there telling her daughter, sure, you can go on your uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever uh, social media platform. She first posted her. She want people to donate to her because of her birthday, show her birthday love. And you know we don't do that. We don't ask people for money. We give people money. Candy, I don't know. I don't know. I, I had you in line to become a queen, you know. You're doing boss things out there, but then it's the same like you're coming out there trying to scam folks. Okay, scam. And that's what we have to call the spade is a spade is a spade. Now, you know Riley had no business going out there unless she was with her circle of friends that float in the wealthy section. She didn't show her some birthday love, okay? But that didn't have to be on social media. But you allowed the girl to get on social media and do that thing. And you had so much backlash. We don't deal with backlash. We don't deal with people coming to us questioning questioning us, okay? That's not how the royals get down, okay? We set the tone. We set the pace. And everybody else follows suit. So, we have to silence Candy as well. <laughs> we have to silence her to the same sentence with Nene, okay? We need her to not speak, be on social media, not claiming, not now. Can you uh, give my daughter some money? Or can you send me some money? We don't need y'all talking about money, period, for one month. We don't need it. The council has spoken. We have silenced you as well. <laughs> And that little poor piss type of retraction you tried to do by coming saying, oh, now Riley is going to donate $500 to the cause of whoever can uh, get to her first. So I don't know what the criteria it was that she was going to bless somebody. Well, okay, if she had even 100 people get in her Instagram account, and donate to her. That still was too much money. Riley should have been donating that to a charity. She should have been saying, um, guys, it's my birthday, but I found this wonderful, fantastic charity. I would like for y'all to donate money to me, and I will sign it in every last one of y'all names with my name being on top to the top charity I choose. Okay? Now, that is queen fitting behavior. That is boss bitching behavior okay that's head b-i-c type of behavior we are going to make you go to a set of charity charitable non-profit uh social um what do you call it events venues where we, we we want you to go out there and raise money for the community and donate it in riley's name but we want y'all out there working both you and her because y'all did the darn thing putting us out there looking stupid okay we're on high platforms we have high standards and we want you all to portray yourself in the best manner possible so since you fail to do that Yes, we must silence you as well, and we want you to do community service work. You and Riley both at 5 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon, okay? Pick whatever day you choose, two days during the week, one day during the weekend. So we want y'all to pay for that because that was a total disgrace coming from the castle. We didn't raise y'all that way. We didn't take you out through all the schooling that we put you all through, okay? So, that was it for you and Nene. For Portia. Portia, we saved you for last. Mainly because you're the baby. You're still a baby at heart. You're still a baby in your mind. Even though we tried to excuse you when you were talking about a real railroad, underground railroad. And though 
uh, Phaedra's not here to help us school you and her friend Dwight. I wonder does he still does hair? Oh, well, that's not that's not really relevant right now. But we need you to go to etiquette school. Okay, we need to put you into Dwight and Phaedra's education school. Then we need to definitely put you in a school for first-time moms. Uh, we're going to have to set up some referrals with your doctor because you're out here acting like you have no sense, you have no intellect about yourself, and yet you have an heiress to the throne. Portia, why are you asking common folk, the citizens, sometimes some people see them as peasants, in the community, why are you asking their advice that you should be asking your pediatrician, okay? Or your mother. That would have been the first thing, first person to lean on for understanding, okay? Rich nuggets she could have dropped on you. All her wisdom that she has had, because she's had two beautiful girls, you and your sister Lauren. But then again, Another good resource, Lauren, your sister, she just had a baby too. The baby couldn't be no more than, what, about three now? But yet, you went to social media, okay? And I can see what you all three are doing. You all are trying to stay relevant in the community. I understand that. But we taught you to be above, just a little bit above, the normal person. To hold yourselves with class and sophistication, but I see all of that has run out of you all. So we have to reprogram you and reintroduce you on the ways of the world and how we move and shake between them all, okay? All right, so Portia, you have some explaining to do to the um, officials in the castle, okay, Queen Elizabeth? Queen Latifah, Judge Judy, and Mama D. Yes, and we might even have to call and put on the phone their head bitch in charge, New York Pollock. You remember Tiffany? Yes. She held her own on reality shows, off of reality shows. She even was up there with T.S. Madison doing her thing, and she still came off as reigning queen, HBIC in charge. She never left. Her foundation, what we taught her at the castle, okay? She's always stayed true to the game. But you are out here acting all willy-nilly. No, nobody can, no one can possibly seem to forget the Underground Railroad. Where Harriet Tubman was uh, driving a train. And um, you were supposed to catch that train. That's been there for centuries, okay? We haven't gotten over that one, but we gave you a little reprieve after you had Baby Pillar, okay? Because you were growing up, you were maturing, you were doing all these things, but no, you had to get out there in social media and just run a total muck. Don't forget all your education, all of your experience, just everything. I mean, you just had the baby. Then your physicians... The one that we found you tell you if you had any questions or concerns. And the staff were there for you. Any questions? Could you not lean to your understanding if you didn't want to take your mother or sister's advice about a diet for your child? Could you have at least reported back to your child's pediatrician and got all the answers that were pliable? Okay. The only ones that really made a difference. Okay? No, you did not. So, we have to go and listen to all these blogs come in and report every last one of you women. But yours were was the one that stuck out the most. Because you were asking people of the community. Instead of coming to your, po your folks. Okay? Okay? You had to go out there and deal with the community, making us all look bad, like we didn't do anything for you, we didn't serve you up right, we didn't teach you right, we didn't raise you right, or any of that, and threw egg on your own mother's face, because you didn't ask her, what does she think 
you should do. You went to the world and asked them, do you know how many people are in the world? Billions, okay? Billions. To answer a silly question as of what we felt about milk or veg a vegan milk for your baby. And let's look and take a sip of what Celebrity Insider said you did. Because they were the ones, ones pressing on silencing you. Okay? It said Portia Williams is curious about a milk formula for vegan babies. Fans are criticizing her. And you see how that makes us look, Portia? It ain't all about you. It ain't all about you. It's about how we look too at the castle. All right? This article was written by none other than Ron Collins and journalist for the Celebrity Insider. Yes, he brought the tea to us and we would we were appalled, we were shocked, we were just disenfranchised. Okay. It tore us from the core of who we are in the castle. He went on and wrote, Portia Williams keeps asking fans and IG followers for advice regarding baby pillar Hannah McKinley. The latest question is about an issue regarding milk formula for babies. Here's Portia's post below. Hmm, like a light bulb. Okay, going off in her brain. And we know now there's nothing sparking up there. It's just plain, just darkness, just darkness. That's why we're going to have to gonna send some paperwork to Miss Diane to make sure she is legal guardian. Because we don't really too much trust Dennis McKinley either. You know what I'm saying? He's flying willy-nilly in the streets. And we told Portia. And we have given her a stern talking to as well about the nuptials that she thinking she want to do. And then having another um, a baby out of wedlock. You know, it's really getting us some problems here. We, we, we're going to probably have to leave her on her. Cast her out. She'll be shunned from the castle. She keep playing with us. She keep playing with us. You're going to see where she's going to be. Okay? But anyway. It says, hmm. Calling all mummies of vegan babies. What is a good formula for vegan babies? Thinking about switching PJ's formula. I breastfed for four weeks. Uh, but it didn't work out for us. Uh Probably because you wanted to hit the bottle, okay? And that's okay. It's okay, Portia. We know you gave it for um, eight months, and, and you couldn't take no more. Well, nine months, we'll say. All right. Then, uh, cute little picture on her feed. If you go check, uh, check a look, she got it on Pillar Hannah's uh, feed, her daughters. Okay? It says, people have all kinds of opinions regarding this subject. Check out what some said one fan asked Portia, strange how you keep coming to Instagram for advice concerning pillow. Now, see, that's our one uh, word that just keep nagging at us. See, even the people, okay, we the people, or they the people are saying you constantly keep coming to their uh, understanding. You want them to give you answers when you have all the resources at your fingertips. Like the castle, okay? We can give you different types of suggestions. Your mother, your sister, what are you doing? Why are you shunning all of these resources that are available? And then top of the cream of the crop, your physician, your pediatrician for your child. Okay, but we're going to digress. We're going to continue on. They said, one fan asked Portia, strange how you keep coming to Instagram for advice concerning a pillow. Don't you have a pediatrician? They put it all in large caps, okay? And it just made the queen cry. All the queens cry. Queen Latifah, Queen Elizabeth, as well as Mama D. And Judge Judy just kept talking about how you could be so pretty but yet so dumb. How can you be so pretty but yet so dumb? Okay? And they said, surely the pediatrician is more qualified than any last one of us. And I will have to lean on to that understanding. We good. We good as mothers. But sometimes we don't know everything. So we lean to higher understanding, meaning the pediatrician portion, the pediatrician. Get into it. Might get you a dictionary for Christmas. All right. But going on back, it says another follow told her to pump it and store it in the fridge or freezer. Don't give baby sore from the, it has side effects. Now, I half-heartedly agree with that one because everything has side effects. 
But what's wrong with the regular formula the doctor is telling you to give the baby? Is the baby having digestive problems? Are they spitting it up? Uh, they don't want to take the milk? Because you could try other formulas, okay? Since you don't want to breastfeed or you feel you can't breastfeed, okay? Oh, okay, going back, it says someone else wrote, hmm, isn't it goat's milk still from an animal? How is that a vegan choice? What am I missing? Okay, that's a little sarcasm right there, but no pun intended because you probably needed to hear that. Okay, it probably went right on over your head, Porter, because you ain't listening. You ain't listening, baby. You ain't listening. Okay, go on to another com commentator's comments. Uh, said, I'm off of vegan plant-based. We are F. Well, WFBP, but the can formula is garbage. Please research ingredients. Use goat milk or breast milk donations till she's old enough for plant-based milks. Okay, another fan wrote, I was going to use a soy formula for my baby until I read some of the long-term effects. So once I stopped breastfeeding at six months, I ended up using a hypoallergenic broken down compounds for one and sensitive for the other. Okay, then another one said soy creates high levels of estrogen, so just be mindful of that. Other than that, little tidbit, I'm no help. Okay, other than this, Porsche had recently shared a photo featuring her Dennis McKinley girl, Pillar Johanna McKinley, and they're saying she's so cute that fans cannot get enough of this baby girl. Yes, a Porsche don't get no common sense about herself and lean on to the castle or her mother or sister advice. But especially holding as a rule of thumb, the pediatrician, she's going to find herself in defects office. That's what she's going to find herself, okay? Because we don't mess with babies and we don't let babies get messed with, okay? Okay, Portia. Okay. So, out of all the other two housewives calling themselves, asking people for money, which they definitely didn't need not to, and the other one, Sitting up here telling people she looked like another person uh, that used to be on the show. Uh, and she taking offense and want to silence some of her commenters. No. Uh, but no, Portia pretty much stood out the most. Because she's a mother. First time mother. And she's not using her resources that she has right at her fingertips. And that's a no-no, because we're supposed to be raising the future, the future of our America. And she's worried about some god dogged vegan base plant soy milk. Like, do they still have isomil out there? <sighs> Portia, we're going to send you to parental classes, as well as uh, staying very close and monitored through um, your pediatrician and um, we got, we got to pray for you, Patricia. We got to pray for you because the, the stuff you're doing and you're raising the future American child or children because you're planning on having a second one. Um, I, I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just a lot of words and I'm a mother myself and I've never had to really rely on my mother if I felt that I needed questions answered. I did research on the computer, I read books, and I leaned on the understanding of her pediatrician. So I'm just having a hard time understanding where Portia is going with all of this and why she's asking total strangers to help her out of, the, of a dilemma that she should not even be in or be asking social media for. Now, Granted, you will have some good people, very well thought, uh, provoking people that have definitely had experience with raising their children and whatnot. But each kid is different. Each kid' immune system is different. Body types are different. DNA is different. Blood is different. Okay, the whole biological makeup is different. What Portia does not understand, she needs more understanding. Okay. She's not even overstanding and not even understanding. I don't know where she's at at this time. So we all need to have prayers sent up for Portia Williams, okay? Because I don't understand where she's going. I don't think she knows either. So I'm asking Diane, her mother, to definitely take her to a pediatrician. 
or go with her to her pediatrician and you be her advocate for your grandchild because I don't know what Portia's doing out there. I don't know what she's doing. So that was my commentary. That was my spiel. We're getting rid of all of them. We're silencing all three of them because they have not definitely been doing what they need to be doing to say their boss is running around in his in these streets, okay? Claiming self-appointing people, giving titles that are not definitely deserved at this time. That's just making a mockery out the castle, the queens, and the community at large. Okay. Well, I'll see y'all next video. That was my sentence for all three of them. As you can definitely see, I am not biased. I call a spade a spade. I call them out. However they do, they do. And I get on them each and every one of them individually for the task, for the insults and the criticism that they have bought to the castle. Okay, the castle, the queens have spoken. And we let the all we let all the rest of them fall wherever they want to lay. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.